Hi everyone, my name is Fabiana from Creative Swimwear and today I'm gonna show you how I made the bottom part of that top bikini that had the African flower that I made last week. And so to do that I made a drawing so I actually know where to start and where to finish this bottom. And so to start the bottom I made the same exact triangle that I made for the top. So if you haven't made the top yet, start the top, make the top first because I'm starting from the flower ready because I already gave instructions of how to make it on the top. So I'm starting on the seventh row of the, this flower, okay? So make the flower all the way to that turquoise color and you can watch it on the top part of this bikini. I'm gonna put on the description below, okay? And so here I already changed the color. I made a slip knot, put through the two loops of the color before I had before and then I made two chains. So this row I'm going to make a bit different from the top. I'm making only double crochets this time and I'm covering the tails underneath as well. So they are all finished from when we for when we finish this tutorial. So I'm making here one double crochet in each double crochet in each double crochet I had before. And the only difference it's gonna be in the in the corners. We have three corners because we have a triangle. Okay, so all the way there we'll be making double crochets. So when you get there, we're gonna make two double crochets and one chain and two more double crochets right on top of that chains I had we had before on that turquoise collar and on the very next stitch we will be making double crochets across all the way to the other corner where I'm gonna repeat the same thing so this this row is like it's really easy it will be a double crochet row, a bit different than the top because the top I made it more open here because it's the bottom part we want this a bit more closed so we are always just using double crochets here. So I finished this row with um, a, slip, a slip stitch in that second chain from the beginning and now I'm going to start working the middle part and going down for that part that goes in between the legs. And if you are making, I'm making a small medium. If you are making a medium large, just make one more row, okay? So keep going, repeat the same row we just did on that uh, off-white color or any color you prefer, okay? So make one more here stop the video if you are making a medium large okay and then we are going to start making the same exact thing for the small medium and the medium large i made only two sizes for this bottom okay so i'm gonna count here i'm going to start with the same color again i decided to use the off-white you can use whatever color you want. So you count six stitches from that middle chain and, and uh, to the right. Okay, from the middle to the right you count six. And that's where we're gonna start with that slip knot to just change the color. We are not changing the color just to start the yarn here. And two chains. After these two chains, we are going to make one double crochet in the next double crochet, one more, and one more. So this we're gonna count as four, 
because we have the two chains on the beginning. And the next stitch we are going to make a half double crochet. Because we need this, we are using this uh, row to straighten up the work. So here in the middle we are going to make single crochets, three single crochets, one in the middle and one more on the other side. And then a half double and four double crochets. This is going to be the part that's going to be in between your legs. And we're going to have 12 stitches here. We are going to be decreasing two more stitches in the next two rows because I want 10 double crochets. If you are making a medium large, you don't really need to decrease, okay? Just keep working that 12, that should be fine. So we will be decreasing stitches in the, at the end of this row and at the end of the next row because I want to decrease two. I normally work with 10 stitches in between the legs. I guess not much difference, but when the person is really small, it makes a difference. So here I'm making one instead of two. See, I have one only in the middle there. And then on the next row, I'm going to repeat the same thing. One double crochet to each double crochet. And one on the last two. This is just, yeah, this is just a, it's better to do this way and then if you think it's not wide enough at the end you can make a few rows of single crochets around the entire piece. As you can see I will need to make, I always make actually single crochets around the entire piece just to make sure it is strong enough and it's gonna hold on the body better. See here I'm making one more instead of two, so I have 10 double crochets now. And I'm going to keep making uh, 10 double crochet rows until I reach 21 centimeters. So I'm going to have 18 centimeters to one side and I'm gonna fold three more centimeters of the end of crochet rows to the other side and then I'm going to start working the back of the back parts of this bikini okay so you just use your ruler to see when you reach 21 centimeters working with the 10 double crochets and when you reach that you can stop the video now because I'm going to do go straight there and then when you reach 21 centimeters you just fold it put a marker on 18 centimeters so you know where you folded it okay as you can see here i have 18 plus 3 21 total okay for a large make 23 centimeters okay we need two more I normally work two more centimeters on each side, which is two centimeters total if the bikini is folded. Okay, and now we are going to start increasing for the back. So the way I'm going to increase, I'm going to put a marker where I folded, or you put a marker where you folded, and you keep working the increasing until you reach the same uh, size on the other side. So to start increasing, we are going to increase only on the edges. So I'm going to increase on the first stitch. I made two chains and I'm going to make one more double crochet in this same double crochet. Then double crochet across, like I'm doing here, one double crochet in each double crochet now.
and from now on I'm going to be increasing from 10 I'm gonna have 12 and I'm going to make um, moderate uh, Brazilian coverage in this case if you want moderate just see here I'm increasing I put one more on the one before the last that's how I like to work you can increase on the last if you like it and here I'm going to increase one more time so I should have 14 stitches at the end and as I was saying if you want a moderate coverage a bit more coverage than what I'm making you keep increasing one stitch in a, two stitches in every single row like I'm doing here you're gonna have a bit more coverage but here after I finish this row I'm not gonna increase on the next one so I'm gonna increase only on this every second row not increasing every single row so bigger coverage just increase more stitches if you want even bigger increase maybe four and the two first rows okay so when we had 11 I had 11 rows when I folded my bikini to start the other side so I'm gonna place a marker there so every time we want to know how many more rows we have to make we just fold it and see if we reach the top of the other side that's a very easy way to work so we should have 18 centimeters on each side for a small medium and 20 centimeters for a medium large okay and then every time you want to check if you already got there you just fold it where the marker is and then you're gonna know how many more rows you have to make We're gonna make all the way to where my hand is. So I made two rows, increasing two stitches in every one of them, and now I'm not gonna increase because I'm making a Brazilian coverage. Again, if you're making a bigger coverage, just increase in every single row. If you want a smaller coverage, just increase every second row. So I'm going to repeat that all the way until I reach the top after folded. And then we are going to start making the waist part of this bikini. So here I didn't increase any stitches, but on the next row I'm going to increase again. So now I'm going to increase again, and I'm going to keep repeating this all the way until I reach the top of the other side after folded. And if you want to make a G-string, stop just stop increasing and make this size. Just stop increasing when you like the size you have. Mine's not a G-string; it's just very close to it. But yeah, if you want a G-string, I, I know some girls like very cheeky. Then when you reach the size you like, you just stop increasing. That's how I do it. Or if you have a bikini you like and you want to just follow the shape of the bikini you like, that's okay too. So I'm increasing on this next row. I'm 
I have two chains and another stitch, so that counts as an increase. And I'm going to increase again on the stitch right before the last. And then here I should have now 16 stitches. And when you reach the top part, we are going to start making the waist. So if you want to stop the video now, I'm going to do this here. And then I'm going to show you guys how I made the waist part of this bikini. So fold it, when you reach the top, we come back and keep going on this movie. And then we are going to put the elastic around the legs and the waist as well. So here I have mine. As you can see, it's not a very big coverage, but it's not G-string. It's close to it. Okay, so I fold it and I have 18 centimeters. If you make a medium or large, you should have 20 centimeters. And we're gonna have to add, we're gonna add with the waist two more, two and a half more centimeters. And I worked increasing on every, sing, every second row, and the last two rows I increased in both of them, just to keep the shape nice. And now I'm going to, I didn't uh, cut my yarn, I'm going to start working to the sides like I did on this yellow bikini. So I actually used that as um, just to know the size I'll, I should have on the sides, but I normally increase around 60 to 70 stitches to every side, so it normally works. So if you're making a small, just put, just make 60 chains to the side now. As you can see, I didn't cut my yarn. I started straight from where I finished the last row. Okay, and I'm using that yellow bikini that I had from that I made before in another tutorial to show you how to make this one and to see if I got the right size. If you're making a this is small medium, if you're making a medium, just make 70 chains just to have a longer waist. Because it's going to be stretchy, but if the person needs a medium, a medium, more medium than small, you need this to be a little longer. And after you add the elastic, it's going to be elasticized anyway. That's how it's going to look like at the end, like I'm showing here. It's actually really elastic, which is really cool. Okay, so we will be making 60 chains here, 70 if you make a medium, and if you're making a large, 70 as well. Okay, so I made 60 chains here, and for my experience I think it's enough, just comparing with the other one. And then I'm going to just... Close this with join this with the front size now with the front side. If you are not sure this is gonna fit you, just make more chains. You know, it's not a it's not a big deal because you're gonna elasticize this at the end. So if you're not sure if you're making for somebody else, if you're not sure, just make more chains because the elastic's gonna hold anyway. 
that's what I do and I'm not too sure of the person I'm making with that for. I normally ask for the hips size measured over the, over the fullest part but some people just give you the, right, the wrong information sometimes. It's funny. Anyway, I'm gonna join here with single crochet. And then I'm going to start working. I'm actually gonna redo this because I want to start working this way. So I'm making a single crochet here. Make sure your chains are not twisted because otherwise it's hard to work after. And um, from here I'm making single crochets. So I'm making one single crochet in each stitch from before, all the way around. Okay, so just here when I got to I get to this part here, I'm going to just make it a bit more straight. So um, I'm using half doubles there. Because I have double, it's gonna straight up that part a little more. Because this looks like a bit uneven. So here, one stitch before I get to that part, I'm going to make one half double crochet. So one stitch before, one half double, two half doubles right on the junction of that two works and one more in the middle of the first row going uh, yeah so three half double crochets and then start again with single crochets so here so um, i'm gonna explain so you know i count each each row as two stitches so I make one stitch in the middle of the row and one stitch in between both rows. And I'm going to be repeating that all the way until I get to the other side, until I get to the um, chains I have on the waist. It's just single crochets. Okay, so getting to the other side, I'm going to make my last stitch in between both first, both uh, the last row and the one before the last, and then I'm going to start working double crochets in that second chain. Could actually make on the first chain, okay, if you want it, because then there's no holes there. I actually have a gap here that I didn't like, so make one double crochet in the very first chain. It won't change nothing on your work. Okay, and then keep, repeat that all the way to the other side, making one double crochet in each chain you have. And I'm gonna show you right at the end how I finished this row around. Okay, so I have here my last and I count two stitches down to the bottom to make um, 
Now I actually see there's a gap there, so I'm gonna make one more double crochet here. I'm making this design the first time for you guys. <laughs> so I'm working as I'm going. That's why sometimes I change my mind. So one more double crochet there. And then to the side you're gonna count one, two stitches. And you're gonna pull it and make a slip stitch. See there is no gap there. And now I'm going to cut this yarn here. And then I'm going to repeat the same thing to the other side so I can keep going to with the waist. Make sure when you join both together that's not twisted. We don't want that twisted. Okay. Otherwise we have to remake it. And here I'm going to start on this side. You can start on the same side side that you started before. So that way it's going to be the same exact work. And I'm going to pull this. It's, a, it's just I'm just repeating the same thing that I did before. The only difference is that I have to start with the yarn again because I had the yarn on the other side of this work, not here. So I'm going to start with 60 chains again and join to the other side as well. And then make my 60, my single crochet rows with double crochets underneath the chain. And here where I have this little Part that's not too straight, I'm going to make again three half double crochets. Don't forget that, okay? See how, more, how much more straight the other side is. So I'm going to make this side here, which is a copy of the other side. You can stop here. And now I'm just um, measuring it to see the size. So it, as you can see, 7 inches by 14 inches. Or 36 centimeters. Okay, so that's a measurement for a small size. So we're going to start working the top part now, the waist part of the bikini. And I'm going to make work one row on the waist with the pink. You can choose the color you would like to use. I think the pink would look nice. And I'm going to start working on the back of this bikini. So I made a slip knot to start with the pink and work a single crochet from here, a chain actually, two chains. Put the tail behind the work and make three chains. And on the very next stitch, one double crochet. One chain, two chains. Very next stitch, another double crochet. And one more double crochet. And then I'm gonna keep doing this work all the way around, so... After this, may, uh, skip two and make two double crochets and one, two chains, another two double crochets, skip two underneath, skip 
skip to underneath on the third stitch one double crochet and two double crochets on the next one so it's always one stitch to every stitch we had before okay two chains and two more double crochets one in each double crochet from before and I'll be repeating that all the way around and as well on the chains I have on the side I'll be working the same work two double crochets with two chains in the middle And then two more double crochets and then I'm going to skip two stitches from before and make two more double crochets, two chains and another two, always one double crochet in each stitch and that's what it's gonna look like And I'm going to repeat this all the way around and finish this row with um, slip stitch on the second chain from off the beginning. So here I'm going to start working that chains I had before. As you can see I'm working on the very top part of that chains the part I, where I, the part that I can see from this side so that's where I'm going to put my hook through if you think it's easier you can put the hook through in between the stitches as well but I'm doing this way here so the stitches show more you can see the row better if you do this way and then after this row I'm making another row of, of white and then I'm going to add the, the elastic now if you want to stitch your lining with a sewing machine I would tell you to stitch it now, stop the video, stitch the stitch the sew the lining and then come back to this video to finish the bikini after but I'm going to stitch by hand so I'm going to stitch the lining after I finish this bikini and I cut the lining right on top I'm, I actually have a, on the description below I'm gonna leave you the video for to add, how to add the lining for this bikini but um, if you're using a sewing machine you have to do that before you add the elastic so after I made the pink row I finished um, the pink row with a slip stitch and then I made one double crochet to every stitch I had before which means that where I had the two chains I made two double crochets okay it's so exactly one stitch to every stitch you have on the row before and then you can cut the if you want to cut the lining now right on top of the bikini but uh, on the link of the description below I'm gonna show you a very easy way to cut the line so you don't need to do that now okay so I'm using the elastic for swimwear you can use three millimeters or five millimeters my favorite one is five millimeters but I'm using three because I bought a row and I didn't realize it was three so I'm using three but I prefer five millimeters 
but the three millimeters one you can hide more but it doesn't hold on the body so well so i prefer the that's why i prefer the five but you can hide the three millimeters much better so the size i'm using is around two to three fingers smaller on each side and two fingers smaller on the legs like i'm showing to you okay it's much smaller because it has to hold on your body so you need it to be smaller that's the same way that i did on this last sized yellow bikini with this beautiful daisy flower <laughs> i enjoyed a lot making the daisy flowers that everyone's using now it's really cool so i'm finishing this uh, waist part with the um, turquoise collar like I did on the top so they match and here I made already both legs they, you, you do it the same way that's why I already finished the legs and now I'm going just to make the waist to show you how I did it the only thing is that so I start with this lip knot there and always place I'm going to start making a slip knot here with a chain. So I'm going to put through any stitch on the back of your bikini. I like to work start on the back so we don't have uh, tails on the front of your bikini. And just place the um, stitch part, the ends of this elastic on the back. And in between the legs, when you're doing that part, just uh, place the ends in between the legs where you had the 10 double crochets. That's where I placed them. So here's on the back part. So you're gonna put the hook through and underneath the elastic and just crochet on top of it. And that's how it's gonna look like. So put the hook through the next stitch underneath the elastic and just crochet norm like you normally do a single crochet and it's gonna naturally cover this elastic you have underneath it works like magic it's really nice I learned to finish bikinis like that in Bali. They all do like that and they are big factories that make for every top designer. And that's how they do it. There's other ways to do it, but that's my favorite. Okay, if you feel that you need to cover the elastic more like I'm doing to do here where I have the ends, you make two single crochets so i'm going to make two here in this next stitch i think i normally do yeah i did so two single crochets here so you cover that ends and then keep going and just making one single crochet in each single crochet from here Okay, and then I'll be stretching this elastic when I get to the side part because you don't want it you don't want it stretched on the front or on the back you want to only stretch on the side and that's how you do it you pull it a little bit and as you can see it's already stretched make around 30 stitches and then pull it again and repeat that all the way until you get to the front part of this bikini where you're not gonna pull the elastic because you don't want that crunched like you don't want that you know you want that shape to be perfect on the front and on the back so you can take photos etc not it not that it matters but it's it's nicer when you you know when you're presenting your, your work it's 
So I'm going to repeat that all the way until I get to the beginning. And then I'm going to finish with a um, slip stitch again. So don't pull it in the middle, only pull it, only pull that elastic on the sides of your bikini. So it has a nice shape at the end. And here I'm going to just repeat single crochets in every stitch all the way around. And then this bikini is going to be ready. So that's it. That's how it looks like at the end. So it's beautiful. I love the combo of colors. And um, it's a stretchy, as I said to you guys. And if it's a small person that has around 30, 35 inches of hips, 35, 36 max. Okay, if you have 37, 38, it's another size already. And so give me, leave me a comment if you like this video and give me a like, also subscribe to my channel. It's very important that you guys subscribe so I can get found on the searches on YouTube. This is the top. It matches perfectly with the bottom. Really love this design. It's a fast design and it looks really cute, I think. Okay, and that's it, girls. I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. I really enjoyed making it. And subscribe to my channel. Give me a like, thumbs up. And have an awesome week. Thank you for watching. Mwah. Big kiss for everyone. See you next week. Bye.